Here's an educating Arizona. A Valley High School is testing out a first of its kind class. It's actually showing students how and what it takes to work a career in law enforcement. ABC 15's John Genovese shares why this program is changing a lot of students' mindsets. Because part of the way the scenario works it is it has to be reality based. It's the unpredictable stuff officers deal with every day. Somebody is calling saying that there's a person banging on the doors. A mentally handicapped man. The aliens are coming. The challenge to keep him calm. So what's your name? My name is Arthur. Okay, how you doing, Arthur? Students at Washington High School are getting a feel behind the badge. I want to be a forensic uh, scientist when I grow up. Derisa La Ruiz is a senior and amidst the classes changing how she and her friends felt about the police. Well, a lot of people think um, cops are, are there to use force and to arrest people, but Apart from that, they're they're there to help you. So what did Moses do right in this? Teacher Lori Brigette knows what she's talking about. She spent 30 years at Phoenix PD before retiring in March as a commander. We do some of like the marching and the drill that would happen at the academy, so try to instill in them some type of discipline. Washington is a Title I school. Students are diverse. Many come from low-income families. It's, it's a way to humanize police officers and to talk about how they have to make quick decisions and talk about the stressors associated with the job, but also for the police officers to learn what the students are thinking. Active officers stop by throughout the semester, opening minds in more ways than one and laying the groundwork for what Dereza hopes will be a career. I hope um, all the other schools get to experience it. John Genovese, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, Washington High School partnered with NAU to expose students to other opportunities in law enforcement. The university is hosting a career fair next weekend. That's open to anybody, so we've posted all the details on ABC15.com.